This one is about two code blocks in Scratch. The one is if some condition then do something and the other one is if some condition is true then do something else do something else. Uh, I'll um, want to explain it with a small number guessing game. Uh, we'll have Abby here and she will be standing in a room and Abby will um, ask us to guess numbers and we want her to do that forever or at least until we uh, stop the game. And initially Abby will look like she is um, thinking about a number and then she's going to think about a number and she will remember that number in a variable. Let's call the variable um, well number in mind. That's good. And we will set it to a random number between 1 and 10. And um, then Abby will ask us um, what's the number? The number in my mind. And she'll wait for our answer. And depending on our answer, she will uh, let us know if we're right, if we guessed it uh, correct, or if we made a wrong guess. So we'll use a if then block and we will check um, whether the number in Abby's mind is equal to our answer. And if that's the case, we made a right guess and Abby will um, let us know. Good. And if we make a wrong guess, so if the numbers are not equal, if the number Abby has in her mind is not the same number that uh, we answered, then Abby will say um, nope. And in this case Abby will change her costume and look a little bit disappointed and in the other case if we are right up here then Abby will look a little bit happier. And now before we run this um, uh, to test it let's ask Abby to give us some idea about the number uh, she came up with. That's gonna be a little bit easier for us. Okay let's run this. Okay, Abby came up with eight. What's the number in my mind? Okay, we guess five. Nope, that's wrong. Seven, okay, let's guess seven. Yeah, good. So you get an idea how this works. Now we're gonna change these two uh, if then blocks and we're going to replace them with one if then else block. So we're going to remove these two, place this empty if then else block in here and we'll take this condition if the number in Abby's mind and our answer are the same then we want Abby to switch costume and say good and in any other case, this is the else case, we want uh, Abby to say no we did not guess the right number and you can see uh, if we replace these two if blocks with one uh, if else block, we save ourselves from this additional um, expression here. We do not need to explicitly check whether the numbers are not equal because um, if they are equal, this case is going to be handled up here. And any other case is going to be handled here without the need for another um, expression. So this is how this works. Let's see. 10. Let's 
Guess. 10. Good. 5. Now let's make a wrong guess. 7. Nope. 